All right, so what we have here is we've got two levels. The green represents the second level and the white walls and the floor represent our persistent level. To open up the levels manager, you click window and you open levels. That will open up this on the right. It will likely open up big on your screen, like something like this. Your first level that you always have open or whichever level that you have open will always be your persistent level so if you've created your levels down here for example i'm using test test is my persistent level at this moment that's the one we're currently working in when you want to add additional levels that will uh, change you drop down on the levels here and you can either create a new one or you can add an existing level, which would in this case be your furniture or so to your main level that holds the structure and the walls of the buildings. Here we can test. So these two objects are inside the test three scene and you can see this where I can toggle it on and off. We have this level streaming volume that highlights the bounds. So that identifies tolls, tolls unreal. When I'm within this area, then please activate turn on this, this scene so we'll be able to see it. You do that, so you create the, the level streaming volume in your main, in your persistent level, you create that. And then you click this button here, summon the details. Sorry, you click this one, because that's the one you want to load in when you walk into it. Then you click that and you just tell it to use this streaming volume. You need to actually tell it that when you walk into this one, then please load this level. Cool. So here we'll see an example, I hit play and you'll see everything is gone from there. So let me just move this back out of the way. So everything that was in there that was green is now gone. And as soon as I walk into the area, they come back on. Obviously, ideally you'd have this level volume around around a corner or something so that when you come around the corner you can actually see it rather than um, it popping up in front of you and yeah it was pretty pretty straightforward to set up I, I did have a little bit of trouble uh, figuring out something with world partitions but that was just because I used the wrong starting map and yeah this this looks like it would work quite well and yeah let me know if you have any other questions